the notary thing. And we should be live, Your Worship. Thanks very much, Doug. Well, <clears throat> good evening, everyone. Welcome to the uh, public hearing, public meetings, meeting agenda, uh, meet meeting for Tuesday, uh, September the 6th, 2022. I will call the meeting to order at 6 3 p.m. This public hearings, public meetings meeting is being held by electronic participation. Uh, pursuant to the municipality's procedural bylaw number 2021-040 and section 238 subsection 3.1 of the Municipal Act 2001 is amended. The meeting will be live streamed on the municipality's meeting portal and YouTube channel. The video recording will be uploaded to the municipality of Trent Hills website following the meeting. Uh, we have the approval of the agenda. Uh, the motion reads, it is recommended that the agenda for the public hearings, public meetings meeting of Tuesday, September the 6th, 2022, be received and approved. A mover and seconder for that, please. <coughs> English and Councilor Metcalf, Deputy Metcalf, sorry. Um, call the question, please, Doug. Councilor English? Yes. Councilor Kelleher McLennan? Yes. Deputy Mayor Metcalf? Yes. Councillor Redden? Yes. Councillor Tully? Yes. Councillor Bratney? Yes. Mayor Crate? Yes. Carried by seven, Your Worship. Thank you. <clears throat> These public hearings, public meetings. Your Is Worship. Uh, my apologies, Your Worship. Disclosure of interest. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I missed that one. Uh, any, any disclosure of uh, interest from the uh, council? <laughs> Being none, Yay. if something should arrive, uh, arise, please notify the clerk. Uh, these public hearings and public meetings are being held in accordance with the provisions of the Planning Act. The purpose of the meeting is for council members to formally hear and receive public and agency comments. The intent of these statutory public meetings and public hearings is to receive public feedback and incorporate it into a recommendation report from staff no decisions will be made during this meeting. Please be advised the meeting is being recorded for the purposes of a creation of a public record. Any property owner may file an application under the Planning Act relating to their property. The purpose of the public process in filing an application is to determine if the proposal is supported by local and provincial land use policies. The process also seeks public input in order to determine if any issues identified have been or can be addressed. The applicant, applicants or their agents will be given an opportunity to speak on behalf of their submission and to respond to questions arising from the discussion of their applications. Interested members of the public will be given an opportunity to speak in favor or in opposition to the application being dealt with at this hearing meeting. All persons addressing council must state their full name and address and must direct your comments through the chair. Any information you provide at the public hearing, public meeting may be discussed, or I'm sorry, may be disclosed in a public record. If you miss a live meeting, have technical issues, or prefer to submit comments following the public hearing, you may email your comments to planning.ca, that is all lowercase, planning at tranthills.ca. The municipality requires these comments no later than seven days after this meeting to ensure the comments can be reviewed by planning staff prior to preparing a final recommendation report to be heard at a future council meeting. <clears throat> As a reminder to individuals attending the meeting, please turn off your video and mute your microphone until staff have concluded presenting the application you wish to speak to. Turn on your video when you wish to speak to the application to ensure you are visible to the chair. Unmute your microphone when you are speaking. Once your items have been completed, you may leave the meeting. If you are watching the live stream and have unmuted your microphone to speak, please close the live stream browser window as there will be an audio feedback that will cause a delayed echo effect. And now with all the preliminaries done, um, we will head off to the first application um, with severance consent application B42-2022, 
for Joan Dunham and John Dunham at 1154 11th line geographic township of Seymour and uh, presenting the uh, report is uh, Crystal Langstra and uh, Crystal Gagne will do the slideshow. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, through you, uh, the application before you is uh, severance consent application B42-2022 for Joan Dunham at 1154 11th line west, legally described as part lot eight of concession 11 south uh, in the geographic township of Seymour. I will note that the applications were circulated and notice was given uh, in compliance with the Planning Act requirements. Next slide, please. So the application proposes a lot line adjustment between two existing properties to transfer approximately half of an acre of land from the parent farm parcel to an existing one acre lot uh, owned by Don Dunham uh, at 76 Dunham Road. Uh, the application will result in an outbuilding garage transferring from the farm parcel to the rural residential lot. Uh, the purpose of the outbuilding has been associated with that smaller parcel since it was constructed. Uh, the lands are designated rural and greenlands, and the current zoning is rural, environmentally sensitive, and environmental protection. All the environmental zoning would remain in place. Uh, next slide, please. So this aerial map shows you where the uh, transfer of half an acre would be located. Uh, it's shaded in blue. So that would be transferring from the larger parent parcel to uh, that one acre parcel that fronts onto Dunham Road. Uh, that's all I have, so I'm available for any questions. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Crystal. Uh, are there any questions? From, uh, actually, I should ask uh, uh, Joan uh, Dunham, uh, do you have anything to add to this application? Joan is in here. It's Don and I. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Yep. No, no we've got nothing to add to. Um, it's just um, something that we'd like addressed, and um, there's uh, – that's all we want to do. Um, we just um, we had that built in with permission, and um, we just think uh, it's the time we had it on our lot. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, are there any questions from council? Thank you. Um, are we joined by anyone that would like to speak to this application? Thank you very much. Seeing that, we will carry on to the next uh, application. Um, we are now at Severance Consent Application B26-2022, Zoning Amendment Application C28-2022 for uh, James and Judith Frederick and Emily Twig, 465 Bannon Road, Geographic Township of Seymour. Crystal? Thank you, Mr. Mayor, through you. Uh, again, as you've just cited, this, this is application B26-2022 and zoning application C28-2022. Uh, and it's at 460. Next slide, please. Okay, so the application proposes to create one new rural residential parcel that's approximately 1.48 acres. The retained parcel is approximately 88 acres and it would contain the existing residential dwelling and outbuildings. Uh, the zoning amendment application has been submitted in conjunction with the zoning and that zoning application would recognize that rural residential use separate from the rural zoning for the larger parcel. Uh, and all of the environmental zoning and any zoning on the retained lands would remain. Next slide, please. So the lands are designated rural in the official plan and the current zoning is rural and environmentally sensitive. Uh, so we did receive comments from the manager of roads and urban services and also from Lower Trent Conservation Authority uh, and there was no concerns for the creation of this lot. Next slide, please. So this map shows the proposed location of the severance in blue. Uh, so it is at the southern portion of the property and it would be fronting on, is that fifth line there? I can't actually see it's on, it's, yes. So I that's all I have, so any questions? 
I would be happy to. Thank you. Um, are um, James and Judith Frederick or Emily Twig with us? Sure. Yes, uh, Emily Twig and James Frederick are here. Um, it's this, it's also this? sorry. Yeah. Sorry. No, sorry. Just want to say, do you have anything to add to the application, uh, Emily? I just wanted to say that it's the sixth concession. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Welcome. Thank you very much. Uh, are there any any questions from council on this application? Uh, Jean, are you trying to uh, bring in our? Bear? Yeah, go ahead, Jean. It's nothing particular to this application. We're getting very poor. The audio is very chopped up, breaking, and it's very hard to follow the, the script as the people are speaking, but maybe it's just my end of the computer in the 10th line here. Thank you. Okay, thanks, Gene. Uh, so any other comments from uh, council? All right, thank you very much. We will carry on. We're now at severance consent application B34-2022 and B35-2022 and zoning amendment application C25-2022, uh, Oak Heights Vista, Inc., uh, Ron, and I'm guessing Slump, Concession Road 2 West, Geographic Township of Percy, and I will uh, turn it over to uh, Crystal. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, through you, the application before you is B34-2022 and B35-2022 and zoning application C25-2022 uh, on Concession Road 2 West. Next slide, please. So the applications proposed to create two new parcels uh, being approximately 8.27 acres and 7.41 acres of vacant land from approximately 30 acres. Uh, so the retained portion would be 14.32 acres and will remain as vacant land. And the zoning bylaw amendment application will recognize the creation of rural parcels that are slightly smaller than what the comprehensive zoning bylaw requires at uh, 12 acres. Next slide, please. Uh, so the lands are designated rural and green lands and the zoning uh, is rural and environmentally sensitive. Uh, so comments were received from the manager of roads and urban services, as well as Lower Trent Conservation Authority with no concerns. Uh, we did have some comments uh, that were generally regarding historical lot creation in the area. However, we haven't received any formal comments at this time. Next slide. So the map shows the location of the proposed severances. Uh, the severances will front on uh, Con Concession Road 2 West and the retained lands will have frontage on Oak Heights Road. Uh, so that's all for this application and I'm available for any questions. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so, um, so Oak Heights Vista Inc, uh, Ron, is Ron with us? Uh, <clears throat> I am, I've turned on my video. I don't know if you see me. Yes, we can, thanks Ron. Okay, great. I, I have nothing. I have nothing to add, but I'm happy to answer any questions. Thank you very much, um, Council. Any questions on this? I I don't see any, Ron. So um, I thank you very much, and we will go forward. Thank you. Um, we're now at Severance Consent Application B thirty seven dash twenty twenty two. B38-2022, B39-2022, and zoning amendment application C26-2022 for Jordan and Nicholson, 7177 County Road 50, Geographic Township of Seymour, and I'll turn it over to Crystal. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, so through you, uh, we have applications B37, B38, and B39-2022, and zoning bylaw amendment C26-2022 for Jordan Nicholson. And it's at 7177, County Road 50. Next slide, please. 
So the applications propose the creation of two new rural lots of approximately 15.5 acres of vacant land and one at 16.75 acres. Uh, the 16.75 acres has the existing residential building and outbuildings. Uh, the final application is a lot addition to sever approximately 9.42 acres uh, of land to add to an existing one acre parcel uh, to take that from a rural residential parcel back up to a rural parcel uh, that can permit agricultural uses. The retained portion will remain approximately 126 and a half acres of vacant land. So the zoning bylaw amendment application will recognize the slightly smaller rural exception zone for the one lot addition application and the remaining severances uh, will have environmental zoning that appropriate locations with respect to comments we've received from Lower Trent Conservation and any existing environmental zoning uh, is expected to remain in place. Next slide please. Um, next slide, please. Sorry about that. That just reiterates the zoning information I gave you. Uh, so the lands are designated rural and green lands and the zoning is rural environmental protection and environmentally sensitive. Uh, so comments have been received from Northumberland County uh, from a roads perspective for the county road. There's also comments from the municipal uh, manager of roads and urban services, as well as Lower Trent uh, Conservation Authority. Um, we also have written comments we received after the agenda cutoff uh, that speaks to the preservation of farmland. And we do, I believe, have one person uh, on the call that would like to speak to this application as well. Next slide, please. So the map shows the location of the proposed severances. Uh, each one is in a separate color there for you to see. The retained portion uh, and severed parcel B39 have frontage onto County Road 50. Uh, B37-2022 uh, is the lot addition. It has a existing access on County Road 50 uh, that's specific to that one lot that already exists. And application B38-2022 has potential access from both 10th line and County Road 50. Um, so please note as well, um, based off of the Conservation Authority comments, uh, they have been they have requested further review on the parcel. So staff are in conversation with the Conservation Authority, and we anticipate the comments may result in a lot configuration adjustment that would exclude the watercourse in the southeast corner of the lot, propo the proposed lot, uh, and additional environmental zoning that may be associated with the watercourse that runs through the center of the subject lands. Uh, I also point out that while we are creating two additional parcels, the application conforms with the rural designation policy and it is supporting the continuation of agricultural uses on all of the lands. As well, staff have ran preliminary minimum distance separation calculations for the existing barns on the subject lands, as well as farming operations across the road and the proposed lots do conform to the required separation distances. Uh, so that's all I have for you so far. Thank you and uh, I'm available for any questions. Thanks very much, Crystal. Um, is uh, Jordan? Are you with us? Oh, I'm here with you. Yep. Oh, okay, Jordan. Anything to add to this, uh, Jordan? I don't believe so. No. That's great. Thank you very much. Uh, Thank you. Council, any questions from Council? Uh, Rick. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Mayor. Just a quick question. Is, uh, the lots that are being severed, I just wondered why so big. Is it because of the configuration uh, to keep them all aligned? That was my question, I guess. Sure, I can speak to that, Rick. The, um, the lot for the house encompasses the house and some barns, and then some land out back that kind of makes up that configuration. Then the other two lots, there's a lot addition which will just widen out and it will encompass to the natural fence lines. So that's for the both both of the other two pieces of property. They just remote back to both of the property lines, the natural fence lines, the natural wooded fence lines. Okay, thank you very much, Ken. Thank you. Uh, anyone else? Uh, Deputy Mayor Metcalf? 
Thank you, Your Worship. Um, just uh, underneath the colored uh, blocks of those three lots that are that we're looking at, what's um, what's the topography under those lots? Is it, are either of them mainly wooded? The, it looks like the south one has a lot more wooded area. Uh, I would say than the other two. Uh, so through you, Mr. Mayor, the majority of the parcels are um, agricultural fields. So as Ken spoke to, uh, the lot lines are essentially breaking up those individual farm fields to be uh, fully located on all of the parcels that are being created. Uh, so they are majority of them. It's near the edges of the farm fields is where we're getting into contact with those environmental features. Uh, there's nothing really running right through the middle of any of those parcels. Uh, and they're all being kept at a size, partly to answer the previous question, at a size that can continue with agricultural uses uh, so that those fields can be used for agricultural purposes. And if I can have one more on oh, your worship. With the letter from Northumberland County, point to uh, ask for the lot to include field access across from 7066. I'm wondering if you could just describe exactly where that is. Um, do we have, Crystal, are you able to put the map back up? Can you repeat that one more time, Deputy Mayor, please? Yeah, point two that uh, Northumberland County and their requests for condition is that the uh, survey lot frontage for B37 uh, include the existing field access across from 7066 County Road 50. Um, so I believe there is uh, an access somewhere in here for this parcel that essentially the comments from the uh, county is to keep one access for each of the parcels so there's one in here down where my parcel is i don't know whose mouse that is but uh, i'm the one down here there's an entrance somewhere around here there's another one that's up related to the one acre parcel that would become the access for this full parcel. And there's the access into the farm where the buildings are right now. And I believe there's one up further for the retained parcel. And so their comments essentially are leading us to say they want one access for each of these um, where we can, and then any extra they want to be removed. Okay, thank you. Uh, Jean, did you have a question? Yes, uh, Mayor, there's a question with Laura Trent wanted this all deferred until some study. Can you give me a Reader's Digest version of what the study might include as far as time and money? Sure, so through you, Mr. Mayor, uh, to council and the public. Uh, so comments were received, and this is a typical comment we get for many of our applications when we have any sort of development that's within 120 meters of any watercourse feature. Uh, so what the Conservation Authority is saying is they don't want it to go forward for an application until there's been a study completed for uh, the lands as they're within 120 meters of the water course. Uh, what we've done in previous applications is we've zoned all of the land within 120 meters to be environmental protection, uh, which keeps any development out of those areas. Uh, and where a landowner wants to do something within that zone, then it requires a study at that point in time. Uh, so there's two options. We can do it that way, or there can be a study that's done upfront now um, that would require time I'm not sure the time amount of time that it would take to complete it, um, but it would essentially look at where the features are right now. Is that good, Gene? Yeah, thank you very much. Okay, thank you. So any other questions from council? All right, we will carry on to the next application, which is Severance Oh, I like to speak. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, my mistake, Derek. Go, uh, go ahead. 
Yes, sir. Thank you. That, 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 thank you. Well, I'd like to object uh, j object to this uh, to this the severance of uh, 38 and the, the 37. Um, uh, um, for the of course that the, 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 uh, both them bo both them are good. The uh, the parcels the uh, the farmland. Um, uh, um, I've been I've been uh, I've, 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 I've been on my land for the past the uh, the 25 years, and I've built. Uh, Build build that land, every inch of that land, and I know what's good in the land. Last year, last year, in fact, the uh, the one parcel, nine point four two acres, acres, I got the uh, the fifty three of uh, the bales off that that that, that for the other uh, the other other owner. Um, uh, the Ontario loses three hundred nineteen acres a day. StatsCan two thousand twenty one of good agricultural land. Um, um, also, Northumberland County in the past 10 years has lost over 5,048 acres of good agricultural land. Let, land. We cannot afford to keep on losing losing land like this, this, this for housing, housing development purposes. Um, um, over the past, uh, past year, groceries have risen, risen 12.2% over the same period there last year, 8.7% in the Ontario alone. For our kids, for our grandkids, and for future, future, future people generations, we cannot cannot afford to keep on keep on losing this uh, land. Land. I know she's only she's only you know between the two of them, two of them, the uh, you know um, 25 acres, but 25, and you do this four times. Now you got a 100 acre farm. We've lost land to, and 25 acres acres produces an awful lot of corn, soybeans. And wheat for people to eat, or or 25 acres to feed the to feed the to feed the cattle. And with uh, with all our droughts droughts and everything that we've had there in the past uh, p p past year, we cannot afford to keep to have this happen time and time and time there time there again. And for our kids, our grandkids, future people generations to eat, because because if we do not if we if we keep this up, we're not going to have enough enough land in our province. In our in our country, we have to go get it somewhere else. With rising cost of diesel and transportation and everything that goes out with that, it's going to cost our, cost cost our kids ki kids an awful lot lot to feed feed themselves themselves right now. We cannot afford afford to do this. Twenty eight percent of Canada right now is barely making ends uh, meet. Meat, meat. So if this uh, this thing uh, this thing uh, keep, keeps on going, we're not going to have the land to uh, defeat our people. People. So so for that that purposes, I would like to object to object to this uh, to this um, uh, rezoning, uh, uh, sir. Thank you very much, Derek. My apologies. I, I missed that line to ask for public input. So thank you for uh, no problem and. Uh, uh, Deputy Metcalf. Thank you, Worship. I'm wondering who uh, this land is currently uh, worked uh, for agricultural purposes. Yes, it is. So, listen, guys, can I comment a little bit on this? Go ahead. Go ahead. So, I want to just let you know that there's going to be absolutely no land or no farm loss here. The reason for these severances, the reason that they follow the natural contour of the fence lines is so that, so we're, let's talk about a common sense element here. So I have approximately 300 acres that I have been sitting in an excavator now for two years. So I bought a farm that went, it had an absolutely zero workable land on it. So I brought back, I revitalized 65 acres of property and I have crops on it. So now I'm working on expanding my farm. So I took a natural, a natural house that's located on a bison farm. I'm going to sever it off and somebody's going to enjoy that as a hobby farm. I'm not only gonna expand land, I'm gonna create more workable space on that property. I've had excavators in there now for six weeks, getting rid of rocks, making more farmland. So there's a house that's already pre-existing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna add natural farmland to it. And then we're talking about a piece of property that's already a building lot 
in the middle of a field, which if you put a house right in the middle of the field, it doesn't really work. So what I want to do is create another um, building lot there that will enable somebody to continue to work that property and live there and expand and move some of this useless land that's been around here forever and have it as crop farm usage be able to take the hay off of it as well as the lot to the south we can talk about so somebody had mentioned in here about water courses there's no water courses through this land but there is water courses close to it that have been dealt with over the years there's a natural water course that runs down through both of our farms here and it runs into the water the three properties that we're talking about are already pre-existing. They're, they're already the natural outlines of the land are there. And if we want to talk about the loss of land over the years in Ontario, I have created, and I can give you absolute facts on this, over 165 acres of workable land that six years ago that was grown up and there was absolutely nothing going on here. So I just want to make sure that everybody's on the same page here with what we've created and what we're doing and what our end result is. I'm a fella that absolutely is worried and, excuse me, want to be concerned about future generations and this is something that falls into a criteria that 99.9% .9 of all people will side with on. So hopefully somebody's got some other real positive influence on this or some positive comments that, that uh, can see what we're up to here. Thanks very much, Ken. Uh, Rick, did you have your hand up? I did, but I think Kenny's answered uh, for the question that I had very well. Thank you. Thank you very much. Does anyone else have any questions before we continue? Thank you very much, everyone, for that. Uh, we'll move on to severance consent application B40-2022 and B41-2022, uh, zoning amendment application C27-2022, for one, two, three, six, three, nine. Six. Excuse me. Uh, one, two, three, six, three, nine, six, Ontario Inc. Ken Nicholson, sixteen ninety five, Tenth Line West, Geographic Township of Seymour, uh, Crystal, please. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, through you, uh, before you is applications for severance consent B40-2022, B41-2022, and zoning amendment C27-2022, uh, and you have mentioned that it's for the 1236-396 Ontario Inc. number with Ken Nicholson at 1695 10th Line West. Next slide, please. Uh, the application proposes to create two new parcels, one being approximately one acre of vacant land and a second approximately 2.12 acres for rural residential uses. Uh, the retained parcel is approximately 108.88 acres and contains the existing residential dwelling and outbuildings. Next slide, please. The zoning application in conjunction with the application will rezone those parcels to recognize the proposed rural residential uses separate from the rural uses for the uh, parent parcel. Next slide, please. So the lands are designated rural and green lands within the official plan and are zoned rural environmental protection and environmentally sensitive. All the existing environmental protection and environmentally sens sensitive lands will remain. Uh, we did receive comments from uh, the manager of roads and urban services as well as lower Trent conservation authority uh, and staff will note that uh, the conservation authority did submit comments with respect to the hydrologic assessment the uh, applicant submitted uh, with their application and they are requesting additional information related uh, to what they requested in uh, their pre-consultation uh, so staff are in discussion with the conservation authority to determine what the next steps are to ensure uh, that the Conservation Authority has the appropriate information to review and we will uh, ensure we have dealt with that prior to bringing this back for a decision. Uh, next step, 
or next slide, please. So here is the map showing the location of the proposed severances. Uh, there's one in blue and one in yellow with the retained land outlined in black. So all the parcels will front onto the 10th line west. Um, yes, so that is everything from me. Thank you, and uh, I'm available for any questions. Thank you very much, Crystal. Ken, do you have anything to add? Um, no, I think Crystal's got everything pretty well covered there. Thanks very much. Council, anything from council? Any questions from council? Okay, and uh, we joined by anyone that would like to speak to this application. Would appear not. Thank you very much. Thanks, Ken, for that. Um, we're now, we reached the uh, point of adjournment. Uh, I need a motion to adjourn. Ken and uh, Rick, thank you very much. Call a question, please, Doug. Councillor Tully? Yes. Councillor Bratney? Yes. Yes. Councillor Kelleher McLennan? Yes. Deputy Mayor Metcalf? Yes. Mayor uh, uh, Councillor Redden? Yes. Mayor Craig? Yes. Uh, carried by seven, Your Worship. We are adjourned at 6.30 p.m. I will just conclude our live stream.